Hey guys, in this video I'm going to share with you top most popular courses studied by international students in the UK with no job prospects and with low employability rates. And if you're studying one of these courses, I'll also be sharing with you what you need to do to ensure you're able to integrate yourself into the UK job market. As a matter of fact, I also studied one of the courses I'll be mentioning in this video and I can tell you that it was extremely difficult getting a job in that particular field. So if you think this will interest you, don't go anywhere, keep watching till the end. And if you're coming across my channel for the first time, please click on the red subscribe button to join the amazing growing family. And my returning subscribers, you guys are amazing. Thank you for being here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. It's no longer news that the UK government is becoming more strict with the student visa route. And it's very important that one is able to secure a job that, you know, would help um, stay back in the United Kingdom to ultimately get a permanent residence. And they start with the course being studied, um, you know, as a student here in the United Kingdom. It's very important for every individual to study a course that would make them employable, that would make them marketable in the UK job market. And there are so many courses, most popular courses studied by many international students in the UK. And research has shown that many of these courses are not good in the job market. That is, many people who study these courses are unable to secure a job in the UK after completion of their program. Now, the first course I'm going to talk about here in this video is Masters in Business Administration, popularly known as MBA. If you're planning to come into the UK to study MBA, I would advise that you have a rethink and decide to choose another employable or another marketable course here in the United Kingdom. I studied MBA in the UK when I came in for a master's program and honestly, MBA is not an entry level course. It's not a course you study to get an entry level role in the United Kingdom. Now, for many immigrants coming to the UK, many of us don't obviously have the UK work experience, so many of the jobs we might be applying for will be entry level. And you can apply for those, or you can, but there's a very low chance of you getting a job um, with an MBA certificate here in the UK. So, studying an MBA in the UK is a no-no if you're planning. But if you're planning to study and go back to your home country, then an MBA can be a good option to market to your potential employer back in your home country. However, if you're looking at getting a job here in the UK, then avoid studying an MBA because it's not uh, a course for someone who's going to be applying for an entry um, level role. So try as much as possible to avoid applying for an MBA. Many of the job roles I apply to after completion, you know, towards the end of my uh, MBA in the UK, many of them tell me, oh, you're good, you did very well in the interview. However, you are overqualified for the job. I need a job despite my MBA certificate, but it's not for someone who is applying for an entry level role. Now, another course you need to avoid if you're planning to study in the UK is Masters in Digital Marketing. Guys, everyone now is a digital marketer. Everyone who make TikTok videos, YouTube videos, you know, who is on social media is a digital marketer. Now, you have to be extremely creative for you to be able to get a job in this space. Now, as a matter of fact, while I was studying in the UK, I studied in the University of Sunderland where I did MBA. I also did a postgraduate certificate in digital marketing. So, while I was trying to get a job, um, you know, with my MBA uh, degree, I was also trying to get a job as a digital marketer. And I can tell you for free that getting a job as a digital marketer in the UK is extremely difficult. Now, for those that might even want to give you a chance or probably offer you an employment, many of them offer a contract employment. That is, they tell you, oh, you can work with us for six months, you can work for, for nine months. And if you're trying to get a visa sponsorship as an immigrant in the United Kingdom, you need a full-time and a permanent job in the UK. So how do you get a full-time and permanent job with a contract employment? So MSc Digital Marketing, MSc Business and Marketing, MSc uh, Digital Marketing Communications, MSc Management with Digital Marketing. Avoid those courses if you're coming to study in the UK as an immigrant. Now, another course I would tell you to ensure you avoid if you're planning to study in the UK is agriculture. Honestly, just avoid studying anything that has to do with agriculture here in the United Kingdom because these courses, there are no jobs for you. Yeah, agriculture is a booming economy here in the UK. However, trying to get a job role in that sector with visa sponsorship is 
practically almost impossible. Now, for avoid studying courses like BSc honors in horticulture, um, you know, horticulture with garden design, try as much as possible to avoid studying any of these courses. Now, another course you need to avoid studying here in the United Kingdom if you're planning to get a job after completion of your program is any course under hospitality. Hospitality management, avoid studying any course that has to do with that. So if you're looking at studying masters in uh, um, uh, MA in luxury brand management, masters in international fashion retailing, masters of science in corporate brand management, I would advise that you have everything because it's almost impossible to get a job in this particular field after graduation. I mean, not that people are not getting jobs, but trust me, 99% of people or 99% of immigrants studying these courses don't eventually get a job in that particular field. So I think it's something you might want to avoid when you're trying to get a job in the United Kingdom. Now, another course I would advise, another popular course being studied by international students in the UK that you need to avoid if you're planning to get a job is Masters in Supply Chain Management, Masters in Supply Chain and Logistic Management, Masters in Strategic Operations, Supply Chain Management. Honestly, guys, try as much as possible to avoid studying this course because of its low employability rate and you know many of the people who study this course end up doing you know working in the health sector as healthcare assistants many of them are unable to get a job in their field so ensure you avoid this course now another course i'll be sharing with you that you need to avoid if you're planning to come into the as an international student is bsa in psychology or masters in psychology now for this course you know because um, my first one year in the uk um, I worked as an SK assistant while I was studying part-time and I met a lot of people, even British people who are working in you know, different uh, hospitals as um, peer support workers, working as um, activity coordinators and many of them when I have conversations with them I discovered that most of them even studied. Uh, they've got a degree, a BS or a master's degree in psychology. Now psychology um, has a good opportunity here in the UK however, the uh, available opportunity is very, very, very small. So if you're an immigrant and you're coming to the UK, then you need to avoid studying psychology because it will be extremely difficult getting a job upon completion of a program. And if you're even looking for visa sponsorship, then psychology is a no-no. So if you know anybody trying to study this course, then you need to tell them not to. Now, for those who are already studying this courses, there are actually a lot of courses that, you know, um, I advise people not to, not to study. If you know one, please share in the comment section. If you're studying a course and you're not sure whether it's a good option, please also state in the comment section and I'll respond to as many people sharing those information in the comment section. However, if you've already started studying these courses or you are in the process of, you know, um, paying up your tuition fee or you've, you're already doing these courses or you've even finished your program in some of the courses I just mentioned. Now, what do you need to do? Now, I did an MBA and it was really difficult getting a job with my MBA certificate. And, um, you know, even with my digital marketing degree, I couldn't get a job here in the United Kingdom. And what I advise people is, while you're studying, if you're already studying some of these courses that are not, you know, um, highly marketable, while you're studying, it's very important for you to get other technical skills that you can market. There are so many fields whereby you can learn a lot of statistical tools, a lot of software that will make you marketable. Now, for instance, if you, 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 you're very good with numbers, you can decide to learn some tools like SQL, like Power BI, like Tableau, like Python, like R, like Visor, you know, and so many other tools out there that can help you apply for jobs like business analyst, data analyst, um, you know, cyber security specialist, um, you know, and many other tech jobs, software development, and many others. So these are some of the technical skills that you can, you can actually use to apply and, you know, still be able to make yourself marketable out there in the job market. So the truth is, Many of these courses, you need to actually try and avoid them as much as possible. But if you need any questions or you need uh, answers to some questions that you can share in the comment section, then go to the description of this video or click on the link on my bio to chat me up privately and have your uh, personal conversations with me. So I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please click on the like button. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, please click on the red subscribe button. And for my returning subscribers, you guys are amazing. You guys are the reason why I keep making videos. Thank you, I really do appreciate it for being here. So this will be the end of this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.